What is going on YouTube? Sam here, welcoming you to episode 19 of our Pokemon White Let's Play. So last episode, we did in fact finish off the gym and we left ourselves here on the Drift Vale Drawbridge, which is awesome. Um, I do apologize again that yesterday's ep episode went up so ridiculously late. Um, it was just one of those days uh, and also it was a bit of a shorter one, so I apologize for that. We're going to have a better episode today, though. Going to be full length and everything like that. So it should be a good time. Um, I don't know why I'm doing a team recap. I don't need to do that. Everyone knows what's on the team right now. Um, so you don't even want to fight me. That's why I stopped, because I was like, ah, you're going to want to fight. There's going to be trainers here. Sometimes above the bridge, you can see the shadows of bird Pokemon, right? Their feathers drift to the ground here. And when you try to pick them up, occasionally you run into a Pokemon. So Peter told me this in the comments. There was a dot running around, like, right here about two seconds ago. It's gone now. Peter, let me know in the comments. The dots are Pokemon battles. There's one right there. Let's just go for it. It's just... A genius wing. What does that do? What does that even mean? That's kind of cool, but, um... I got a feeling as well in this game. There we go. The items are at the top, which is cool. And I for use on a Pokemon. It slightly, slightly increases the base special attack. Sure, why not? Let's just use it on Hallow. I, I, does that boost the EVs or the IVs? I, it wouldn't boost the IVs. It'd boost EVs, definitely. That's cool, though. That's all good. So we're halfway across the drawbridge. That was fast. When a ship passes, the bridge raises and lowers. But Clay controls when the ships run from the start, so when the bridge raises and lowers, it's up to Clay. Uh... Health wing. When are we gonna fight fight some Pokemons? I imagine they're kind of rarer Pokemon maybe on the bridge? I don't know. Let's just boost... Let's boost Rai's HP. He needs it. I don't think he does. I'm so glad I got the Eevee Light as well now. He is just going to hold on to that Eevee like literally forever right now. So that's good. When Drift Fail is mentioned, that comes. what comes to mind is the cold storage and Charles. So we made it to the end. That was, uh, I could have done that last episode, not going to lie. Um, I just didn't know what to expect, so it's just, it's whatever. Um, bridges are amazing because they are a symbol of connecting the world. But the guy on Route 5 is saying the same thing, isn't he? Aha. Breaking the fourth wall, I guess. So, how about this city's pride and joy, the drawbridge? We also call it the Charizard Bridge due to its elegant form. Charizard has an elegant form? I mean, I kind of agree. I have a box of him right behind me. You guys can't really see that. Right there. Um, so, we made it to Drift Vale. This music's pretty funky, and I've got no idea where I'm going. I think I've heard a remix of this theme before, but not the real one. It's Sharon. Are you the uh, gym leader? Ha! Huh, so you're the trainers Elisa was talking about, huh? I'm Clay. I'm the gym leader around these parts. Don't be expecting no welcome now, because when we lowered that bridge, the Team Plasma guys we'd caught done escaped in all the Rook... in all the Rookus. Ruckus. Ah, uh, what a bother. We're grateful that you lowered the bridge, but how is it our fault that they escaped? <sighs> you can say whatever you want, but it's what's important is y'all showed up and then Team Plasma escaped. Maybe it's a little heavy-handed, but you ought to start looking for Team Plasma too. You're both talented trainers, aren't you? So, tell you what. If you find Team Plasma, I'll let you challenge my gym. Life's all about give and take. Well, I suppose that's fair, but really we wouldn't... We would have looked for Team Plasma even if he hadn't asked. I can get stronger while beating that bothersome bunch. Sam, I'll go on ahead. Why can't I go on ahead? Why do, why do we always have to wait for them to leave the screen? I mean, I, I know it makes sense, but whatever. Those Team Plasma meanies forced me to battle them. And when I lost, they stole my Pokemon. Oh, no. Okay, so we got to find Team Plasma in this place. I'm guessing they're going to be around the, the cold storage. The helmet is an important tool for shock protection. It's good to let your Pokemon have one, too. The Rocky Helmet. Oh, that's a good, that's a good item. Who can we give that to? I guess we can just give it to anyone. Let's give it to Graham. I can imagine a little Drillber in a, in a Rocky Helmet. Definitely. Um, I don't know where the Rocky Helmet is. Is it in this one? I think that's Pokeballs and other items. Oh, it's in that one. We could have just gone like two steps down. 
Let's give that to Graham. Graham the Drillber with a helmet. I can- I, I just imagine that. That just suits him so well. You want to fight me? That's kind of annoying. I thought the Team Plasma might have stolen your Pokemon. Seeing as I'm guessing they're going to be in the cold storage. I don't- I have no idea. I mean, they could honestly be anywhere. But the guy on the bridge was talking about the cold storage. And it seems like a good place to hide out for Team Plasma. I feel like they'd have good motives for going there. I don't know what, but I just- I imagine they do. We're going to go for a rock throw, because you're going to be weak to it, I think. Never mind, you're protecting. Damn it. I was going to say something earlier as well. Something about something, but I completely forgot. I'll just tell you guys what I've been up to today, because I have been out. Kind of. Basically, there's this cycling event called the Tour de Yorkshire. It's kind of like the Tour de France. It's actually quite a big cycling event, and it went right past my house, which is really cool. So I've been watching that a bit today. It's been getting out because it's been so incredibly sunny in the UK at the minute. Just really nice weather and it's just nice to go out and enjoy it because it's not often a too sunny here. Uh, it, it rains a lot. Um, I'm gonna switch Halloween. I think Carablas is a water type. I know he's a little bug thing. I don't know if he's water or if he's bug or what. He's blue I think so I'm imagining he's a water type. I don't know what you are. You look like a bug water type, which is a pretty interesting typing. I only thought Surskit was a bug water. Is Surskit even bug water? Nobody knows. I certainly don't. You're not a you're not a water type. Okay. I'm guessing you're a bug type then, or maybe you're rock type. Either way, we're switching Hallow out because uh, I'll start a Pokemon. Can't even take a little Carablast. I mean, you probably could. We could probably defeat him easy, but I just want to speed things up. See if we can one hit with a, I don't even know what, I don't even know what we have. Fake out, I guess, we will do. Yeah, cool. That was decent damage. And then the pursuit should easily take this thing out because it's stab as well. Nice. Still decent in this game, even though I'm, I'm literally half asleep right now. I was up so late last night making this last yesterday's video. Last day's video. And then I've been up today. I've just been doing stuff today. And I just need... I need a good rest. I'm in one of those moods where I could just sleep for like... Probably like 20 hours, honestly. I have... I don't think I've ever slept that long, actually. What's the longest amount of time you've ever slept? Because I don't know. I'm, I, mine's probably like 15 hours, I think. For a few loads, send it by Pokemon. For a lot of loads, send it by ship. Use the best method, best method for your needs. Sure thing. You want to fight me now as well. Damn it. My dad is working in a gym. I'm receiving special training there. Is your dad the gym leader? Or is he just working there and just being a standard grunt gym? Like, what are they called? I guess they're just gym trainers. You got a Joltik. Oh, that's cool. I've not seen one of these before. I'm not, at least not in this game. Unnerve. Too nervous to eat berries. Damn it. Good job I don't have any. Low kick is gonna do X amount of damage, which, oh my goodness, that's nothing. Why does Bug resist fighting? Because the fight, I, uh, I guess it's because fighting types kind of, in my head, correspond to people. People are kind of scared of Bugs for some reason. We don't really have, oh, we got Peter. Come on, let's, let's get him with a, uh, a ground type move. Peter said as well, after you do the fifth gym, you get given Bulldoze, which is a nice move. So that'll be helpful to get. Um, definitely teach that to this little, this little crocodile. What move was that? And why did it uh, hurt me so much? I mean, it didn't really hurt. It was just super effective, which it shouldn't be. And it shouldn't dodge that sand tomb either. It does kind of make... I can imagine if you trap a spider in a sand tomb, it would be able to crawl out somehow. Spiders are like... You dodge twice... Oh my goodness, that's unfair. What move is that? I keep not reading it. I'm so distracted by the fact that you're not getting killed by my sand tomb. What? Bug resists ground now? Man. It was a bug bite. It's because I'm dark type. That's why it's super effective. Well, damn it. We just lost Peter. That sucks. Um... Metal Claw? I don't know really what I have for uh, this Pokemon. That didn't help. 
I might go for a hone claws and then a dick. Ah, oh, the rocky helmet, of course. I don't need to, I don't need to, um, how do we outspeed? I don't need to hone claws anymore because he's going to hurt himself from a rocky helmet. Or oh, this dick's just going to knock him straight out. Please. Nice. Okay, that was close. For a second then. I thought I wasn't recording audio. That would have been bad. Raigu to level 28. He's got a Dwebble, which is going to be super... Actually, it's not going to be weak to Hallow. I hate all these annoying combinations. Rock Bug type, what is that weak to? Uh, I have no idea. I can't do the math in my head. Where's the send Hallow out? That'll do. Hallow can go for a little Leech Seed. And... Mega Drain, maybe? I don't know. Let's just Leech Seed, and then then we'll work it out from there. Hopefully Leaf Tornado will do enough damage. I need to start using Hallow again. He got fairly overleveled. And then... Not really overleveled, but he got to a decent level, and then I was like, okay, let's just use some other Pokemon. And I've been really enjoying the other Pokemon. But we need to level Hallow up, because he's going to be a good strong tank that we need for the rest of the game. So, there's that. Smackdown does nothing. I didn't need a Leech Seed. We could have been done with this fight by now, but instead I was like, hey, Leech Seed, let's go for a Mega Drain because it's more accurate. So good at this game now. Goodness. Look at that. Record. Takes so long to get through this stuff. Okay, can we go and explore again now? There's a truck there, there's some cold storage things. Oh, you're gonna want to fight. This is the way I should have gone the whole time. Let's go heal up. Actually, we haven't... I kind of skipped Driftvale City, because I was like... Well, I kind of thought the cold storage was where Driftvale City was, but it obviously isn't. Um, so here's the Pokemon Center. Can we buy more items in this one? I kind of hope we can. I don't know what I want. I want full heals, that's what I want. D -d 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 no! Still no full heals. Are you kidding me? No Ultra Balls either. Damn. This game, this region, has bad stock. At least the Pokemon Center works. I was um, reading comments as well, and... I believe it was G-Guy. It was G-Guy who was telling me his idea for Pokemon Centers. Because I said in the last episode, wouldn't it be cool if you had to pay to use the Pokemon Center? But obviously then you got the potential to run out of money and be totally stuck. So you need other ways of earning money. What's up here? Um... And he was just basically saying something about that. About just it being difficult to um to, to earn the money, otherwise it'd undermine it. And it changing every time as well. I think that's a cool idea. I don't know what it'd be, but just yeah, good good thinking. Solved a little problem I had. What do you want to say? The old guy on Route 6 is searching for legendary Pokemon. If you're interested, go talk to him. So where are we actually on the map right now? Because I know we went west. Um which one's key items? That one will do. Town map it. Oh, I used the bike as well. Oh, so we're down here, so we can still go left. In my head, Driftvale City was just kind of by itself on an island. Um, not kind of there, but okay, that's fine. That means we can get to Route 6, possibly. I think we need to do the, um, the cold storage first. Pokemon kind of gives you the... I, I don't know, maybe it doesn't, but for me... When you first play Pokemon... Okay, we can get to Route 6, that's cool. Do I even want to be here? I don't know. This place looks really nice. I love this little stream. Anyway, as I was saying, Pokemon gives you a rough impression that it's kind of open world. You have this, this big region that you can run around in and catch whatever you want. But actually, in reality, it's a pretty linear game. Um, they block stuff off and give you weird dialogue like, Oh, have you talked to this person yet? Yeah, you need to let them know you're here or something. Sharon's here. How's it going? Sam, do you think Team Plasma could be in there? I do, that's why I'm down here. I don't like cold places, but we have to check. What a bother. Let's check. Check it. Cold storage. This is a cool idea. Like a really industrial town. I love that. And just storage warehouses near a shipping yard. That That's just a cool, cool area. 
Well, still, is there anything more important than strength for trainers like the champion said? Oh, I'll never understand just by thinking about it. What a bother. Let's hurry up and check the inside. I'm checking. Oh, it's one of these ice levels. That's kind of cool. You want to fight me, damn it. Ah, when it's cold, wear a lot of clothes. Only humans could come up with something so clever. Are you sure? That's kind of an interesting thought, actually. Like, animals just have fur and they just kind of stay warm. But we just kind of make warmer things. It's really, uh, kind of interesting. I don't think any other species does. I mean, I'm sure there's probably some species that do things. And I know animals lose their fur and stuff when they, uh, when it's summer just to stay cool and then they grow a big fluffy coat for the winter well some animals do at least um you got a timber as well eh let's just stay in meet your evolution so you must be like yeah you're level 24 so low leveled this is probably not gonna do anything but it's gonna do more than you're gonna do to me which is all i care about I'm not even as- I mean, my Pokemon's not asleep. I'm honestly asleep. I need a wake-up slap right now. I'm so tired. But it's just like, that did a lot of damage. Okay. I'm just so, like, I'm loving doing the daily series. I just, I love it. So I want to keep it up. If I was in my old YouTube frame of mind, I would just be like, nah, I'm going to go have a nap right now. And I would not bother recording. But I'm, I'm honestly really loving Pokemon White. Way more than I thought I would as well, which is uh, which is a bonus. How do we get past this bit? Nope Ah, uh, I think we have to go up there Let's just fight this guy. Everyone wants to fight Kind of annoying. You're pretty energetic considering the cold place we're in. Let's warm up with a Pokemon battle So my favorite memories of the ice puzzles are in the Hoenn region I'm trying to get down Shoal Cave to find a Snorunt and I think that's the only one in Hoenn. I know there's the one in Seafoam Islands as well on the Game Boy. I played a lot of Game Boy games. Or well, the Game Boy Pokemon games at least. That was, was pretty much all I played on my Game Boy with Pokemon. But yeah, Seafoam Islands. Um, and... Shoal Cave. They're the only two ice things that I remember. But I remember them being really hard. I mean, I could probably do them just fine right now. Well, I'm struggling with this one, but whatever. Um, when I was younger, they were, they were challenging. I remember being stuck on them for so long. But when I finally got to the bottom of Shoal Cave and found a little Snoron, it was just the cutest thing. And I cherished it forever. That's kind of a lie. I'm pretty sure my save file got corrupted. But whatever. This timber needs to die to this low kick. Did I get a crit last time? Because it didn't... It did more than half the second turn. Just did it again. I don't understand. You weren't on orange. That shouldn't have killed you. But it did. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just got a high roll and a low roll at really lucky times. One after the other. Okay, so does this let us, like, really do anything? Okay, we can go on here now. We could have gone on here before. Ugh. Okay. We didn't even need to fight him. That was a bit of a waste of time then. Um, there we go. Puzzles. They're so satisfying to solve when you actually get them, though. So it's worth it. We gotta fight you, because there's only one tile we can run up the stairs on. It's kind of a shame we can't just sneak. Although I'm in the cold storage, my heart is burning. Maybe that's why you're in the cold storage, to cool you down. Because burning is not a good thing. Being warm is okay. Burning, not so much. Worker Philippe has a girder. Oh no. Level 25. Um... Do we have anything that can... We haven't got a flying type Pokemon, which is... It would it'd be helpful if we had one, I think. I mean, in theory, we should be able to win this fight. Not a problem. I just think it's going to take ages. Because we're both girders, and... How heavy is a girder? That is the question. Because if, it, if it's heavy, that low kick's going to do a good amount. I am also heavy, so it's going to hurt me as well. It's fine, though. That low kick should kill this one now. It's like taking him out from the feet. Gerda lands on his head. Dang, that hurt. And is level 25. The EXP share in this game is so helpful. All of my Pokemon have just been leveling up in the background. Um, and we've... I mean, a couple of episodes we had a really unbalanced team. Now it's now it's getting there. Graham's level 22. He's the lowest. I might actually... 
I think when Diana gets a couple more levels, we'll switch to EXP share on her. Uh, on to Graham, rather. <sighs> Why do I feel like all of these guys are Team Plasma? But dressed up as cold storage warehouse workers. They just all look the same. They've got to be Team Plasma. In uniform. Or just another uniform. Vanillite. No, oh, that's kind of a cute little ice cream. I know a lot of people hate this design. This design in Trubbish and Garbador. Nobody like them. I think they're okay. I mean, there's definitely better Pokemon designs, but... I don't hate them as such. That was the other thing I did actually when I was grinding, I forgot to say. Obviously I ran back to Castellia to get the Eevee Light. I did check out the ice cream stand. Um, what's with all of these timbers? There was a massive queue outside the ice cream stand and it said they'd run out of ice cream. So I don't know if I have to go back another day at a different time or something. But I couldn't get any ice cream at the little place, which was kind of annoying. Um, so... If anyone knows how what the ice cream place is about, or if that's where you get vanillite, or vanilla- I don't even know what it's called. Vanillish, Vanillix, something like that. The ice cream Pokemon that we just fought, that I can't remember the name, about two seconds ago. I, I'm guessing that's where you get the- or no, they're called Castellia cones, aren't they? I remember now. So what's the deal with Castellia cones? I don't know. I feel like that would let you evolve a little vanillite thing. An ice heal. We're about to get frozen. Um. Oh, we're on this side now, so we can go straight here. More people want to fight. I'm going to switch Hallow out front. Just to kind of boost him. He's getting low on the levels. And Rai, Rai is overleveled now, I think. Ready to battle. But in a cold voice, that was said. I guess. I'm ready to battle. Work of Ryan. You got three Pokemon. You got a Timber. You got a Panpour. And you got a Vanilla. Predictions. Level 23. So you're slightly lower leveled, which is decent, I guess. Leaf Tornado. <laughs> do something good. That'll do. As long as it's a two-head KO, I'm fine. Um, I just go for another Leaf Tornado and you better not miss. Thank you so much. Cool. You got a Vanillite. That's what they're called. Um, I know I was like, oh, I need to switch Halloween, but I'm going to switch into... I just got to send out Rai. There's no point trying to fight an Ice type when we've got a Fighting type here that can just smash the ice with a Rock Throw. Or can it smash it with a low kick? I don't know. you so got a pan pour as well. I know this game. I know what... What Pokemon are going to be used, I guess. Someone was... I can't remember who. Who in the comments said it? I think it was Diana. But basically... The last gym leader had two... My speed just dropped. Please tell me I still outspeed this little ice cream cone. Ah! I mean, it's a taunt, so I can still go. Because it just lets me use attacking moves, I think. I am correct. So basically, Elisa, the last gym leader, only had an Emolga and a Zev Striker. And Diana was like, it kind of shows you that there's really not that much variety in the game. Oh, you got another Timber, damn it. Send Halo back in. Because Rai took a bit of a hit there. Um, we still got to fight someone with a Panpour. Because somebody had a Pan Sage and a Pan Seer. So a Panpour is coming up at some point. Ah. Okay, uh, Leaf Tornado I think I went for. Please crit. I'm done with this fight. So done. Let's go. Didn't crit. I'm sad. Um, 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 um. Something I... Wow. Wow. You dodge my Leaf Tornado. And slap me to wake me up. Even though I'm already awake. Something about variety, but I can't remember. But yeah, that was... That was one thing, I was saying it ages back. The game doesn't have a whole lot of variety, but I don't really understand how, because... Well, I guess Generation 1 is also not, not very varied. But when I'm playing it, I feel like Generation 1 is... Just feels like there's more variety there. I don't know why. Um, but obviously there's the same amount of Pokémon in this game, at the start at least, as there is in Gen 1, so it's a bit... Bit of an odd one. Sharon's turning up again. 
Ah, it's someone in there. Ugh, yes, I guess. Should we go then? Let me go up here first. Because there's an item just here. No, there's not. Hey. Wait, what? Could I have... There is an item here. Could I have skipped that entire... Se Could I have actually skipped that entire section? Oh, wait, no, I couldn't have because of the... Oh! Oh, my... God, I'm such an idiot. Now we have to run all the way back. I'm so sorry for everyone watching. Having to put up with my idiotic... Um... There we go. I did that one quicker than I remembered. I'm such an idiot. I was like, oh, it'll be fine. We can just uh, run back across the ice because it's not that slippy, is it? There we go. That wasn't too bad. So that's how we get out. Let's go find Team Plasma. They're in a little container. Goodness. Is that Getsis? No, it's not. It's Zinzolin. All of you huddle around me. I can't take this cold. Little penguin man. Whatever. I can't believe you are really hiding. It's a bother, but if you're cold, should I show you outside? Who da? Pokemon are our king's friends. While we're taking care of them, we can't let any harm come to them here. Everyone, drive these intruders away. Understood. Zinzolin of the Seven Sages. Put them up, because here we come. Jeez, that's a lot of grunts. Sam, let's each take care of one side. I have got to take care of 14 plasma grunts in a row. Okay, I mean, I guess I'm actually going to wrap up today's episode. I don't know. I was like, yeah, let's have a long episode. Um, I kind of want to just do this in one go. I don't want to break it up between episodes. So we are going to end today. Um... That was probably kind of a disappointing end to an episode. I'm sorry. We'll be back tomorrow. Um, we can do all these grunts. I literally just spent the whole time going through cold storage. I guess that was fun. I don't know. It's been a bit of a weird episode again. We've had a couple of weird ones. It's when I'm tired and half asleep that they get weird. So we'll be back tomorrow for like an awake episode. I hope. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you enjoyed the episode and actually got to the end of this one, that's a surprise. But thank you anyway for watching, and leave a like down below if you did enjoy it. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.